common theme there, guys, is that Conor McGregor is going to uh, run through him based on the fact of what Conor said. Conor said, I did so much media, I was touring all over the place, I wasn't in the gym, I wasn't with my coaches, and frankly, I got tired. And he said, I know how to cure that. I'm going to do a training camp. I'm not going to do all this media. I'm not going to travel all around. I'm going to buckle down with my great coach and my great team and beat him. What do you think, Joel? What I think is that they should do a study on an athlete's uh, chances of winning a fight after he becomes rich and famous. They, they should really do that because Connor, Connor's got this thing called the Mac life now. So he's, they're falling in a morale. Which is hilarious. They're, absolutely. Great I mean, show. I mean, he's, he's, he, I can't wait to watch the fight. It's the greatest fight in the world. But it's because he's made himself a superstar. Most superstars get their ass kicked. You know, and uh, Nate, Nate's just, he's just not that guy. He, just, he, he You know, he's just not that guy. So I couldn't imagine. I hope, I hope Connor figures, figures out a way to beat him because I want to see the third one. I, I couldn't imagine it happening. You, you know, here, I'm going to beat up a bigger, stronger, more experienced fighter, and I wasn't able to do it four months ago. Yeah, and so here's the other side of it. Okay, here, so here's the Nate side. But this isn't the this story never gets told. It's just kind of the Connor side of it does, where people go, well, yeah, he had some good minutes in there, and, and now he's buckling down. He's going to do better. But you got to understand the Nates, particularly if we're talking about betting. If you're putting your money on it, you have to consider – Nate Diaz took that fight on nine days' notice. Yeah, Bisping had a four-day camp. Right. So, so maybe, maybe you fighters are training way too long to get in a fight. Maybe instead of having an eight- or ten-week camp and working out 15 times a day, maybe you should have a four-week camp. Stay in shape in between fights. You know, Freddie Roach has changed... Manny Pacquiao's training camps, they used to be 12 weeks. He shortened them to eight long many years ago. They're now five. They're five weeks training camps. Because he said with Pacquiao that he's seen better performances at the wild card gym than he's seen in the ring. And Pacquiao's still winning. Pacquiao's still, is still the man. Even in victory, Roach is going, yeah, but that's not the best Manny. The best Manny I saw was about 28 days ago. He shortened to five weeks. To your point, but to, uh, I want to finish this point on Nate. You look at that Connor fight, and so many people talked about Connor got tired and Connor had great moments and he kept landing that left hand. Nate came out and said, listen, I never get hit with a left hand, particularly when it's the the guy's number one weapon when I have sparring. If I had one week of sparring, of practice, he goes, I didn't know anything about this fight. So Nate's now he's gonna, got a full camp. Nate's going to get hit with that left hand. Nate, Nate is going to get hit with that left hand. Um, let me make a case for Connor real quick. Connor went in there. He's the king of the world. He's going to win this fight. He's kicking his ass, and then Nate says, "Hey, man, we're in a fist fight. It's not. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a a, a glamour program, and, and I'm gonna. I'm not going nowhere." Sure. And so, so this time, yeah, yeah, I just don't see it. I, I'll tell you another guy that knows a, a, a thing or two about having championship belts, and that's Nick Aldis, the current reigning heavyweight champion of GWF. Nick, what's going on, buddy?